Uh, so I think this might be the windiest that I've ever sailed. Um, I'm guessing that we've probably got like 15, 16 knots of wind. I'm, I'm guessing. I'm on the big side. And, uh, you know, the bow is definitely crashing through some swells here. They're, uh, you know, they're breaking and um, it's, it's going to be a good day for sailing. <laughs> on some skills because more than anything this is just practice um, you know controlling the boat when it's windy I did not reef um, I have uh, uh, a reef point like right there there's the wind taking me so right now I'm just practicing kind of staying close to uh, you know a close 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 hold so that if I need to go into irons and just kind of depower the whole thing I can um, and then I'm just gonna kind of just, I don't know, just goof off, learn the boat. Because like I said, I've never sailed in this windy of uh, conditions before, so it'll be good for me. Um, and I'm prepared, definitely prepared, so. We've hit, we've hit six knots without even knowing it really. Um, I'm doing four right now, and like I said, I'm just, I am not anywhere near powered. I could, I could get this thing going a lot faster, but obviously that's not the point. So, anyway, this is fun. Um, it's it's going to be a good day. I'm really happy about what's happening right now, so. Um, but, man, that's kind of like the whole thing, is just go out, make mistakes, be safe, but make mistakes. Um, you know, test test your limits, because then the next time you go, you you know you're a little bit better at it. So that's what I'm gonna be doing. Hello, Gino. You've been dreaming for so long. happened was a complete fiasco due to uh, needing to grab a battery and um, I'm not gonna go into all the details but it involved like a good 10 minutes of uh, being out of control sails flying everywhere having to climb up around the deck um, yeah yeah it was a lot of work just to get that battery but I've got it and we are sailing uh, downwind, and I am going to get ready to uh, jibe and, uh, and um, no, let's see, I'm going to attack, get ready to attack, I just, so flustered I don't even know what's going on, so I'm getting ready to attack, head that way, because, um, yeah. Had a disaster, but it's good. Disaster avoided. Okay, so here we go.
have your butt kicked a little bit to make you better, right? That's the whole point. Get your butt kicked to become better. Saw really strong winds today. I don't know. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't. I don't know. I've never sailed in this strong of winds. I've never sailed in um, in in waves that are breaking the bow like they are today. Um, it's fun. It's good. Like I said, you got to get your butt kicked sometimes. It just makes you that much better. So. I have my butt kicked today already. That's 5.8 knots right there. I've done 6.3 already. So I'm going as fast as this boat can go, really. A little swing killed Catalina 22, 5.6, 5.7 knots in 15, 16 mile an hour winds. It's, it's good sailing. Like sometimes I like to just pretend that I can't see the land. I know it's silly, but um, especially today, like right now, I just literally listening to this and and sailing in these winds. Yeah, I'm not in a lake. I'm in the middle of the ocean, headed towards New Zealand. I wanna, I wanna go to New Zealand. I've always wanted to go to Australia and New Zealand as a kid. Always, 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 always. And now it's like, it's within reach because of this, it's in reach. Um, that's pretty, that's pretty crazy to think about. And, and I'm not saying that it's gonna happen soon, but this, every mile, every gust, every frustration, like everything just leads towards me being able to get to New Zealand and me being confident in my sailing. And solo sailing is a completely different animal. Um, you just, you have to fight all of, all of the things that are going on. You have to think about what's going on. You have to plan what's going on. And even though this is a 22 foot boat, just before the camera turned back on, I mean, things completely got away from me. And I was able to just kind of stay calm because I've gotten a little bit more experience, but ultimately you just got to stay calm. And you learn that lake sailing, you definitely learn it on coastal cruising and you, you know, you learn it on the ocean for sure. But, um, like that's, that's what I'm trying to take away right now is how to just learn how to stay calm because a lot of the the people that I've researched and really respect, that seems to be their nature, is super calm. Um, so, definitely, definitely, if you're thinking about sailing, get a small one, get on a lake somewhere, and, uh, and just practice, because... get the experience. This is such good sailing today. Holy cow. 6.1, 6.0 in holding. Such good sailing.
6.4, just at 6.4 knots. I mean, that's, that's moving in a little Catalina 22. Uh, okay. Okay. So uh, GoPro just got its first scars because um, <laughs> I was tacking, and uh, as I was completing the tack, the GoPro got caught in the sheet and you saw it flip up so anyway that's going to definitely make the cut because um i'll say so far my first sailing while trying to film everything has been a complete disaster but it's still fun Needed to do that. 
that. Get it out of my system. Oh, <laughs> 